I'm Amanda. We're on the floor here at E3. I have Sergey of Frogware Games with me, and we're going to talk about the Sinking City. So for those that don't know about it, would you give a brief overview? Sure. So the Sinking City is actually an open world action investigation game, which is like heavily, heavily inspired by Howard Phillips Lovecraft. It takes place in the 1920s United States, you know, the Roaring Twenties. Yeah. Uh, so on the one hand, we have like jazz, you know, prohibition and all that. On the other hand, it's Lovecraft, so it's Themes like uh, desolation, decay, cosmic fear, of course, cosmic fear, yeah. uh, and all that kind of stuff. And it is really a, an investigation game because investigation mechanics are really at the core uh, of the Sinking City. You will have to, like, you know, uh, track down witnesses, you know, uh, analyze clues, examine crime scenes, and eventually maybe try and put, uh, put the whole, uh, you know, picture together to understand what the hell is going on in the game. Right. And you've actually done a really good job of not guiding the player and letting them roam through the world, right? You do have a, you have no UI, correct? So, yeah, actually this, uh, we, we indeed have no UI on the screen and this is like the main, oh, the best thing that I like about the Sinking City is that we offer no hand holding to the player. So basically, we never give them like any objectives or any markers on the map telling them where to go or what to do. We actually want them to figure that out on their own. And this is like, yeah, we really want them to be a you know proper investigator because we do give give the player a lot of information, uh, clues like hints and all that. But instead, we ask them to use this information wisely to get to where they want to get. How did you leverage the Unreal Engine as far as like or find it in development? So the thing is that we are super comfortable with Unreal Engine because we actually developed our Sherlock Holmes games in Unreal Engine, and now we're using the Unreal Engine to work on the Sinkin City. Like, it's crazy how flexible this engine is because it not only it allows us like, you know, to adjust things and tweak them uh, like as we go, but it also allowed us to uh, create tools, like our own tools, like editor, uh, character creation, uh, you know, uh, CD generator and all that, right in the environment, in the Unreal Engine environment, which allows, like, allows us like, to, you know, to reduce the workflow like, drastically, which is super cool. Yeah, the city generator is actually a really sizable tool. Will you tell us a little more about that? Sure, so the idea is that we actually have this tool which is a set of commands which allows us like, you know, to again reduce the workflow. And so instead of when we are building our city, instead of like, you know, manually placing every building on the, you know, on the map because which is like, extremely boring and tedious, yes. Uh, we actually can like uh, set a number of commands which would, uh, we can draw a city grid and then we would assign certain types of buildings to these streets, you know, certain types of people that would like inhabit the streets and then we like press the button and it generates the city uh, districts you know district by district in accordance with our commands which is like again it's super super quick and super helpful for us and not only can we like press the button and generate the, the streets we also can go over them after they are generated and dynamically modify them uh, anytime we want so really super cool tool which we are really proud of that's great and you actually have a release date coming up soon right that is true we just recently we are uh, announced the release date which is March 21st uh, 2019 the game is coming to PC of course Xbox one and PS4 uh, so you know stay tuned we will give you more more and more news and trailers as we come closer to the release date uh, so where can folks go to find out all that information so if you're hungry for news on the sinking city you can actually go to our Facebook page to our Twitter page and YouTube Facebook the sinking city game Twitter uh, the sinking city and YouTube Frogwares. We do post updates and trailers and behind the scenes stuff pretty uh, you know, frequently, so this is uh, definitely the place to go. Great, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, your sets have been quite fantastic and these guys have done a great job of showing off the aesthetics of the game, so thank you again. Yes. Thank you very much. And for all things Unreal Engine, stay tuned for Unreal Engine. Go to unrealengine.com and check it out. <laughs> Thank you.